Rock Kabatko from MassinSports.com School of Rock. And now Rock last night, Adam Jones and Manny Machado were not in the starting lineup. How about an update on those two? Well, Adam Jones is back in the lineup, so that's the good news. Buck just wanted to kind of get him off his feet for a day. Really just said it was kind of general soreness, I think mostly the legs. So he rested him last night. He's much better today. Now, Manny Machado, it's a different story. You know, he remains day-to-day. -day. He's got the strained left wrist, the hand. that has got the gash and the bruise from being uh, spiked by Andrew McCutcheon. And Buck said he's a little bit better, but he's still very sore. That doesn't sound very encouraging. And they can continue to wait, but they don't really want to keep going with a short bench, especially missing an infielder where you got Ruben Tejada playing third base tonight you had Chris Davis there last night because there was no DH in the National League Park not an ideal situation at all so they may have to decide as early as tomorrow whether they're gonna have to put him on a disabled list or not obviously they're hoping they can avoid that they're hoping Manny wakes up tomorrow and he feels great but he's still having trouble clenching that hand and the good news is the left hand so it's the glove hand but the bad news is he still has to bat so we may find out as early as tomorrow whether Machado is headed for the DL now, Rock, what's the latest on Darren O'Day? Yeah, more bad news here. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Darren O'Day on a disabled list with a right shoulder strain, they're calling it. Uh, you know, he pitched uh, Tuesday against the Pirates at Camden Yards, gave up a run. He's only given up two runs his last nine outings, but the shoulder bothered him after that game. Didn't pitch for two days. He tried to throw today on the field. It was still bothering him. So they decided to put him on the DL now, retroactive to Wednesday, and see if eight or, you know, seven, eight, nine days off can help him. But this is a concern. It's the same shoulder bothered him. Remember last month, he didn't pitch for a week between May 8th and 16th. And then we got better after that, but now it's bothering him again. And it's certainly not like Buck overuses his relievers. He's not pushing these guys to the brink. So the fact that Darren hadn't pitched in three days before facing the Pirates and then didn't pitch two days after that and his shoulder's bothering him, that is a concern. So right now they're calling it a strain. He's shut down. They don't have their closer. They don't have their top setup, man. Stefan Crichton comes up then, right? Right. And he's been doing really well in AAA. Not so well here, but down below definitely. And Buck kind of mentioned him the other day. He said, you know, there are guys in Norfolk with ERAs 5, 6, 7. you got to be better than that. And they've been told that. Crichton is, is an example. You pitch better, you'll come back up. That shuttle is always revved up. Stefan Crichton is back. Well, since this segment's turning out to be an injury update on everybody, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's give the uh, rest of the players that are injured some updates. <laughs> I feel good, Tom, if you were wondering. I'm totally fine right now. Uh, Zach Britton, the news is good. You know, he threw two full bullpen sessions down at the Ed Smith Stadium Complex in Sarasota. He's got one more bullpen session, full mound, and then he'll throw live batting practice. So he's right on schedule, and I'll say again, we don't know exactly what that schedule is because Buck's not telling us, but there have been no setbacks. He's on schedule. That's good news. No discomfort in the forearm. Ryan Flaherty, Dr. Michael Jacobs, cleared him to start throwing down in Sarasota. Today, as a matter of fact, he was cleared because he has the uh, right shoulder issue, and, and they feel like he's going to move quickly now that he has been cleared. And, you know, people might say, well, it's Ryan Flaherty. Is that that big a deal? As Buck pointed out, you know, it's uh, he's an important guy. And a lot of people don't appreciate what Ryan Flaherty has to offer when a guy can play every position in the infield, can play some outfield, can be the emergency catcher. Trust me, they really miss him right now, so they want to get him back. Rock, Caleb Joseph just did a little dance behind you. I don't know whether you <laughs> noticed or not. I knew something was going on. <laughs> Rock Kabatko from MassInSports.com. Great information. Always to check him out on MassInSports.com. That's Thank Rock Kabatko.